Last week, Mayor McCarthy dished about the Fernal property, saying she expected an announcement from the state about selling it to the city within a month or two. This week, we invited state rep and counselor at large, Tom Stanley, to comment on the issue. Stanley met with officials from the state's Department of Capital Asset Management on Tuesday. During our sit down, he was concerned that the mayor and state officials were not sharing information about negotiations. I'm as curious as everyone else as to uh, what is happening. So, uh, you know, both Representative Lawn and I put that question to DCAM officials, and uh, we were not able to get any um, information and any uh, feeling that really, honestly, that anything was coming forth. The state has said it wants 800 units of housing on the 200-acre site. Um, certainly housing um, will be a, a part of it. That's what the state wants, and there certainly is a need for housing. But, you know, over my dead body, are we going to overdo it? We also asked Stanley how the city could pay for the sprawling parcel. I'm sure we can afford something uh, there. Uh, we don't know what the appraisal is going to be for the land. A lot of people want us to, uh, to get it for nothing. I mean, I, I, certainly I've been pushing for that as well, but it's unrealistic, I think. Stanley added that the state officials could pull the rug out if the city doesn't proceed carefully. I'm still remaining vigilant to uh, be there to prevent pe uh, people on the, at the state level from changing the way the process works, like they've tried many times before. You know, we're not going to we're not going to stand by and let the state, you know, just steamroll us. If anything uh, is to happen there for the benefit of Waltham, uh, the mayor, the state delegation, and the city council um, have to be on the same page.